Good morning. I'm Jean Marsh, and it's my extraordinary pr pleasure to um, have all of you uh, distinguished people in the room for social work and health convening, state of our knowledge, state of our training. Uh, this is actually our um, second uh, CHAS sponsored conference uh, on health services and uh, we always try to have it on one of the coldest days of the year. <laughs> and we were, we were successful this year, but not as successful as, as last time when, what was it, Robin, 10 below or? Yeah, all right. <laughs> At any rate, um, it's very appropriate, I think, that uh, a conference like this is uh, sponsored and organized uh, by the University of Chicago Center for Health Administration Studies. Many of you in the room have um, had experience working with, uh, with CHAS over the years. But CHAS is a um, interesting and unique institution that has been really concerned with health policy and services for over 50 years. Uh, this quote from Odin Anderson, one of the founders, uh, reflects the mission of CHAS. The objectives uh, of CHAS are to develop a research program and project within it to comprehend the structure and operation of the existing health services system and its impact on the general population. The fact that CHAS is uh, now located, it was in the business school, many of you know, uh, now, now located in the School of Social Work, I think reflects a trend um, in knowledge development, a trend in our, the professionalization of social work, where uh, understanding and contributing to health services is becoming a very important part of our agenda. Uh, it's thrilling to me that uh, BU now has a health policy and services research center. Uh, we have the University of Southern California with a um, nursing program located in the School of Social Work. And we're going to be hearing from uh, the um, participants in those exciting endeavors acro across, the, uh, across the day. I also want to give a, a, um, a bit of a word of thanks to Charles Lewis of CRISP, who is here uh, for being here. But he gave us a very nice little shout out on his um, blog saying essentially that the timeliness of this social work and health convening at Chicago could not be more propitious as a, a distinguished cadre of social work scholars and leaders gathered to discuss the state of social work research and training in healthcare. At the same time that the Republican controlled Congress has gathered to repeal without credible plan for replacement the Affordable Care Act. I think we're all reeling a bit from the political climate at, at this point in time, but it uh, only uh, helps to make us more determined to uh, move our agenda forward. So the, the context um, uh, for, this, for this convening, I'd like to say just a few words about. Um, as it, it really motivated um, the focus of our discussion today. Despite this uncertain political context that we find ourselves in, uh, we as social workers and the Center for Health Administration uh, Studies uh, has had and has significant commitment to controlling healthcare costs, to increasing access, and to improving quality. I'm going to show you just a few slides that will be familiar to you, and we'll hear more about them, uh, that reflect uh, that context. But as many of you, all of you know, healthcare spending as a percentage of GDP uh, ha is the highest in the world in this chart that compares uh, OECD uh, countries. Uh, the black line of the US uh, is far and away uh, sh showing the greatest growth, although there's, there's some flattening out in, in recent years uh, when compared to other uh, Western healthcare systems. 
There's also uh, the outcome data, which I won't um, talk about, but I think we'll hear more about that uh, in a bit. So we know that we, uh, we spend the most money and we have among um, the worst outcomes of any uh, Western country. But the, the, um, the chart that I I'm, uh, I'm really um, find very inspirational is this. This is the Commonwealth Fund chart that looks at the same set of countries and their health and social care spending. And what we see is that France, which um, has uh, the, some of the best outcomes, health outcomes of these countries, uh, spends more on social care uh, than it does on health care uh, compared to the U.S. that spends the least of these countries on social care and, uh, and the most on health care. It's important, of course, to dive into how we define health and social care, but I, this is a very telling chart from my point of view and, and I think inspires us to talk uh, Today, many of our talks will be looking at the integration of health and social services. This is another um, favorite picture of mine that we, we will also be talking about. Uh, this is a, uh, a Kaiser Commission uh, analysis showing the continuum of physical and behavioral health care integration and the way they conceptualize it. It moves from coordinated care through co-located co care to integrated care, uh, and embedded in this is the notion that um, our models of service integration occur at both the service level as well as the system level. And this, uh, these models I hope we'll be spending some time discussing and talking about. So all of this contextual um, perspective leads us to the goals for today's uh, conference, uh, which are threefold. First of all, to bring together to review uh, the state of social work knowledge, practice, and our educational models uh, that are relevant to health care reform, to health policy, and health practice in social work. And then secondly, to recognize emerging research and training models for social work that are related to the social determinants of health and integrated into health policy and service delivery initiatives broadly conceived and finally, to contribute to an exciting uh, enterprise, an ongoing planning effort designed to increase uh, the capacity of health social work to contribute to improving the nation's health. And this refers to uh, a, uh, a project, uh, an initiative that Robin Golden will tell us more about uh, that ha really has been spearheaded by Robin and uh, Darla Coffey to, and has had the support of a great many others of you in the room to try to get a consensus report uh, from the National Academy of Science, Engineering, and Medicine. And you have received in your packet the task statement that uh, guides that effort. So that we're going to fold in uh, <coughs> that initiative and hopefully our discussion today can, can contribute to the initiative. I'd like to next uh, acknowledge, there are many people to acknowledge for making this happen. We had an incredible planning committee that included Christina Andrews, Sally Bachman, Terry Brown, Bonnie Ewald, Colleen Galambos, Sarah Gellert, Robin Golden, Marilyn Luptak, Jean Marsh, Darla, uh, Spence Coffey, Gail Steckety, and Pat Boland. At various times, uh, we had planning meetings and consultations. Keith Brown has done a great job. He's not in the room. Yes, he is. Hi, Keith. Uh, with a consultation from Bonnie Ewald, who is there, <laughs> uh, who are um, have put together the logistics of this, uh, which have been uh, really quite phenomenal. Um, and finally, uh, at the University of Chicago SSA, we have a brilliant uh, communications person in, in Carmela Snook, who I think is in the hall at the moment, um, James Snyder in production, and Julie Young in communications. 
and our great partners uh, are reflected in your program, uh, as well as here, who, who co-sponsored uh, this. So uh, before I thank all of you, I just want to turn your attention to the program schedule for today. Uh, just to, so we can plot out our, um, our uh, modus operandi. If you look at the program schedule, we're going to stay on time, and I will be the timekeeper. Uh, am I? I'm not. I've already. I haven't passed my um, my point of departure yet. Uh, so uh, the uh, the first paper is uh, will be by Stuart Altman in the form of Colleen Grogan. Stuart uh, has been extremely helpful in planning the conference and sent us his slides, and then. Uh, two days ago, uh, had a death in his family, and so he's not able to be with us. But Colleen, we're getting the, the best of both worlds in many ways because we have Stuart's slide and we have Colleen's commentary on Stuart's slide. And so we'll get a very rich, um, a rich view of, uh, of Stuart uh, today. Uh, Robin Golden, uh, next up, Julie Darnell will be uh, talking about access. Uh, Sally Bachman and Gail Steckety are going to be focusing on cost issues. Then we move into uh, the afternoon where we'll be thinking through some of the service integration issues with Tom Diano, uh, Sean Lynch, Lynch, and Paul Kienert. And finally, um, we, it, in the afternoon, we have um, a very distinguished panel talking about how we translate this into educational models for service integration uh, in social work and health. And uh, a real treat at the end of the day is three of our very distinguished colleagues will reflect on everything we've talked about and um, identify the pithy, uh, the, the pithy um, summary of what we should be thinking about moving forward. So then finally, uh, we get to relax a little bit, uh, and we'll hopefully have a very nice dinner, uh, and <clears throat> very relaxing dinner at a place just down the street here. There's a map in your book. We can talk about it more later. Uh, but the other thing I'd like to say about the program is we very intentionally put all of your contact information here. This is an extraordinary group of people, uh, and uh, we um, hope you will use the occasion for networking and meeting uh, people you don't know and connecting with people you do know. I certainly plan to do that. I'm, I'm thrilled to, uh, to have all of you here and for being so committed to this, uh, to this very important issue. And let's let the fun begin.